Welcome back. It's Dave Menzo here with Vintage King. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Make Noise Shared System. With any modular synthesizer, sound processing is a manipulation of the sound source to control timbre and apply effects. Traditionally, a voltage-controlled filter, or VCF, is the principal module used to process a sound source. VCFs come in many different forms, such as band pass filters, low pass filters, or high pass filters. Various parameters such as frequency and resonance can be manipulated by CV or control voltage, which we will cover more in depth in the next video. Other sound processors can be low pass gates, ring modulators, effects modules, wave folders, as we discovered in the DPO, and distortion. In the make noise shared system, there's no shortage of sound processing, both analog and digital. To kick off our analog sound processors, let's jump to the modulator Mod Demix. The Mod Demix features two identical direct coupled balanced modular circuits that can be used together or independently for ring modulation, VCA, a mixer, signal multiplication, voltage controlled polarization, attenuation, and more. The unique balanced modulator circuit turns off around zero volts at the carrier input, making the circuit behave very well as a VCA. The strength knob is a combo knob, meaning that with nothing patched to the strength CV in, it works as a standard panel control, setting the level. With signal patched to the strength CV in, it works as an attenuator, setting a base value for the strength of a modulation. Both circuits feed a summing stage, allowing the module to be used as a voltage-controlled mixer. Aux inputs allow for the stacking of multiple mod mixes and or optimixes to create larger mixes and offers flexibility with more complex patches. The mod mix can introduce warm distortions to audio signals and really is, sounds a notch above many other VCA or ring mods. Next, let's go to the dual low-pass gate, the Optimix. The Optimix, a two-channel low-pass gate, provides simultaneous voltage control over amplitude and frequency content of a signal. It is, in essence, a voltage-controlled filter amplifier, or a VCFA, that has an extremely organic response to control signals. The low-pass gate is a classic West Coast synthesis circuit. The damp parameter programs how low pass gates respond to falling control transients, continuously variable from long, slow, and ringing to short, fast, and muted. Next, the strike input allows for the use of gate signals to trigger the low pass gate circuit by plucking or striking the Vactral. The damp and strike parameters combine to allow for easy programming of percussive sounds with sharp attacks and voltage controlled decay. Four Vactrals are utilized in the Optimix alone, as well as more throughout the entire Make Noise shared system through the use of strike inputs. The circuit of the strike input is essentially a Vactral that when struck by a trigger or gate, acts as a low pass gate with a really fast cutoff. It adds a ton of flexibility and expression to a minimal modular system. The strike input can be sourced for bukla bongo type sounds and was designed to create rhythmic features to the system. The pressure points module is great for adding tactile expression by opening and closing the VCFA slash strike function with musical and acoustic like resonance. Just like the Mod Demix, the 
Optimix's summing stage has auxiliary inputs that allow for the chaining of multiple units to create larger mixes. For digital processing, let's start with the pitch shifting delay, Echophone. Pitch shifting echo with smooth time modulation, tempo sync, saturating feedback, and a unique pitch shifting algorithm were all engineered in collaboration with SoundHack. The Echophone can control the delay time up to 1.7 seconds, which is pretty long for delay, and all the way down to 7 milliseconds for some really quick slapback. The tempo inputs allow synchronization of echoes to multiple or a division of an external clock. Also, there are two independent internal digital feedback paths, loop one and loop two, as well as external analog feedback path for filtered or processed echoes. The freeze button allows for you to hold, stutter, and sample the incoming signal to create some really unique sounds that are just frozen in time and then manipulated. And you can separate them from the dry signal. Uh, this too also uses a vactral based mix circuit for smooth blending of dry and wet signals. This module also accepts voltage control all over the parameters, unlocking a world of sonic possibilities. Next we have the herb verb. The herb verb is more than just a collection of reverb algorithms or presets. It is a unique, modeless, continuously variable reverb algorithm with complete voltage control. Typical reverb types such as play, room, hall, shimmer, and others may be programmed by just simply adjusting these knobs. The continuously variable algorithm allows for hybrid and otherworldly spaces to be found. Traveling between spaces is possible by modulating the algorithm or manually sweeping parameters. More than simply an end of chain set and forget effects unit, it's a whole new building block for modular synthesis. And it can be used as a sound generator and even played as an instrument. The manual or voltage controlled reverse reverb has a very musical application. This is actually one of my favorite features. You can control the absorption, internal modulation depth, and speed in order to program advanced settings such as smooth resonances, chorus Doppler effects, shimmer, or even ghostly choirs with just the ease of a couple of knobs here. Now, the tilt shapes the tone of the reverb dramatically, emphasizing lower and higher frequency content. Pre-delay, reverse, and internal modulation are all able to be synchronized to an external clock via the tempo input. Right now, I have it synced up to the internal clock of the Wogglebug. And this really emphasizes the rhythmic aspect of the shared system. The CV out completes the conversation between the herb verb and the rest of the system to create an expressive living, breathing synth space that really interacts with other adjustable parameters on other modules. The CV bus input allows for you to process any outside signal through the shared system using its quarter inch mono input with preamp level to boost outside signals to modular level. This could be a guitar, a microphone, a voice, or anything. Flexibility is the key in this system, and this is just one great example of that. The system can also process external signals by recording it into the photogene, 
by chopping it into pieces and manipulating it. Utilizing the Optimix and the Modimix, we can patch a few sources both within the system and external to create a symphony of synthesis. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on modular synths and other awesome gear.